Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and this is what everybody's been waiting for. I will put the links in the description. As always, this is a genuine NASA photograph. Now, let me make this clear. To me, my opinion, I believe this shows me life on Mars. My opinion. That's me. If you want to join me in my thoughts, and that's fine. But to me, this shows me there's life on Mars. As you can see, this is some type of worm. To me, it looks like it's got its tongue out into this rock trying to eat something. You can see in the back here, there's ridges, uh, ribs. I feel that that's how it expands and contracts and moves. You can see through its body here, and in here it doesn't become translucent anymore. Then you come down here to this guy. There's one antler that comes out. Here's another one. I can see it coming up right here. There's his one eye. You can see the other eye on the other side. His mouth. He has some white banding around his mouth and up the sides and on his head. He looks to be furry. And looks like he has one wing or part of the wing extended here. And here is the other wing down on his side. Not much to say. Then you come over to this thing. It looks like there's uh, three carved in here. Some type of face. And it looks to be maybe other carvings that NASA is maybe messed with or over time. They just faded. Or it could be just graffiti. I mean, I don't know. But to me, I think there's, I think some of this is fake. I don't think this is a real f face on this rock, as you can see. There's a statue here. There's, it looks to be something carved underneath it. I just don't know what to make of it. And, I mean, this looks perfect. One eye, the next eye. Right here, it looks to be I don't know what to call it, maybe a mouth or something. But you could see how the face, it's just perfect. It just, why that would be on Mars, I have no clue. I just, I don't know. And then you see this here, this three. There's another one right here. And you got stuff like this. Them up here, to me, looks like maybe skinned animals. You see their legs coming out the back, the little tail, there's another one next to it. Maybe animals that were hunted. That, to me, looks like an eye to mouth. Some type of small, maybe rabbit type creature or something. I mean, you can see this funky haze that they put all over everything. It's just, you know, but. This kind of stuff would explain all the, you know, all the, the flies and worms and, you know, if you just hunted and butchered an animal, there's going to be all types of innards and stuff that you're going to be throwing away. Next, let me take you and show you this. This looks to be some type of hard shell bug eating you can see the head the hard shell and the underneath of the body now to me and on my screen I don't know how it's going to translate the video but I'm 
99% on that one being a bug. Then over to here, it looks like a long worm. There's a couple different colors on it. It just looks like a long worm walking along here. Maybe another one. This, to me, looks like maybe some type of statue that they blurred. I just don't know what to make of it. But there's there's some distortion blurring around it. Then you come up to this strange item. Looks to be like bullet in shape, but that's not what it is, a bullet. Looks to have some type of ridges on the side. I guess you could call it an antenna, an antenna, and it looks to have some type of plastic thing coming out the back. Then this little thing coming up could be some type of plant life. I mean, look at it, look at how it looks. Without it now taking Hessel's blur out of it, but that could be a flower or a plant or something. What's even stranger? is this little thing. Looks like a little gray alien head. On a little white base in this little cutout area here. This little carved in area. See all this redness that NASA put around it? And when they put this, see how it looks like you're looking through glass? Man, when they add that effect, it just makes things pretty difficult for me. But I do my best. But you see how this looks like a little statue head? That's just strange. And there looks to be another little carving right there. And then down on this part of it, it looks to have like some type of checkerboard pattern. Then look at this thing here coming out of the rocks rectangular on the bottom and it almost looks like a gun barrel on top with four little openings on the bottom I mean that's just not natural to me maybe to you but not to me then you come back over here look at this thing it looks like it's got smoke coming up out of it and then you come look at this thing it looks like a gun barrel. This looks like a turret from maybe like a tank or something. Look at it. There's one barrel. Another one on the side. Maybe different calibers or something. But what would that be? You could see the length on them. I mean, what would that be coming out of here? And then it looks like this little thing's got some smoke coming out of it. I mean, you could see it. It's there. That's just not a trick of light. over to this end of the photo there's a couple cool things like this thing don't know what to make of it don't know what to make of this here here right before this tank there's a little thing coming up it looks to have one hole in it metal made I don't know just don't know they just Certain parts of this photo were so manipulated, but this little thing here was missed, I think, by the computer because all I had to do was just boost the gamma on the picture to see it. It was in the dark. That's all. I mean, that's a worm. That looks like some big cool fly to me, man. That thing is just nasty looking. I wouldn't want that thing coming after me. Not with that kind of mouth. It looks like he, yeah, he just, it's just crazy. You know, I mean, I don't know what NASA could say about this kind of stuff. Even if you say, hey, listen, dude, that thing's a trick of light. This thing, you could see through it. And then here, it's not translucent. It looks like it's got a little tongue coming out, it's eye. 
going into the rock to eat something. I mean, you can see the part here that the sun shines through. You can almost see its stomach contents in the back, where it would expand and contract. Now, if you have to convince yourself that this is a trick of light, hey, that's cool with me, man. Whatever, uh, you know. But I know what I know. And I've seen a lot of these pictures. There's over 200 plus thousand NASA pictures. I've gone through a lot of them. And I've seen some things like this worm. I've seen some things flying in the sky that could be something like this. But I've never seen anything like this up close. Never. So to me, it's pretty amazing. To me, even if you discount this this guy here, say, hey, he don't exist, you still got to admit that's a worm, some type of worm. And if you want to discount both of them, and you come back over to this guy. Where's my little hard shelled friend? I mean, to me, that looks like some big cockroach or water bug or something. Nibbling on something very weird. You know, could that be uh, you know, a piece of bone or something or part of one of those slaughtered animals up there? Who only knows? There's a lot of strange things in this picture. I'm just going to leave it at that. I got another edit that I did of this. I'm going to throw that in. And look at some of this stuff. You see this? Now NASA colors this, of course, but this looks like it's got a stem comes up like some type of maybe plant life. You see this thing coming up here? You see this brass colored piece in the back here? See how they blurred? See how they made that statue disappear? It's all smoke and mirrors for these guys. This thing could be a hat. I mean, nowadays with computers, you can make anything disappear and appear. So, but the only reason that I think... Oh, and this stuff over here is pretty cool. See how NASA puts these lines through. And this. Let me show you the other part of it. Uh, where, where am I? Uh, here we go. There's a couple on that piece, and let me see. I showed you that one. That's, I think that's about it. I mean, there was, I don't think much more. That is cool little thing. It looks like it might be carved. And back to him. Now, the, like I said, the only reason I believe that that got through is because of this. This is basically what the picture looks like from NASA. Maybe just a little darker. Um, yeah, maybe just a little darker. Uh, that's why I feel that the uh, it's been overlooked. And... Uh, their computer didn't see it or their editors 
I mean, whoever's doing it, they're very sloppy. But that's good for us. That's really good for us because this is the kind of stuff that needs to be out there. People need to see this. This is the truth. It's hard to accept sometimes. Sometimes the truth is uh, a bad thing and sometimes the truth is a good thing. And to me, I believe this is a good thing. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, basically, you know, to me, my opinion, this is showing me life. You make up your own mind. All I could do is put the truth out there for you. This is an original NASA photo. Just make sure you're watching in high definition. Like, subscribe, and share. And if you do think this is life, show it to somebody. Share it for me, please. I'm out.